wanted to let you know about a really incredible trial giving new hope to victims of stroke. As our Corinna Paisa tells us, it's actually not even a trial anymore because the results were so incredible. Doctors at University Hospitals call it a miracle, so you might as well call 82-year-old Bessie Shervon of Eastlake a walking miracle. Looking at her now, you'd never guess Bessie Shervon went through open heart surgery nine months ago. It was scary. It was very, very scary. And then a week later, things would take a turn for the worst. I fell asleep and then I woke up about maybe an hour, an hour and a half later. I could not talk, couldn't speak one word. She stood up initially and I looked at her and I said, Mom, where are you going? And she couldn't answer me. Luckily, her daughter-in-law, Betty Jo, was there. She recognized the symptoms of stroke and quickly called 911. Because of Bessie's surgery, she couldn't take any clot-busting medication, but University Hospital said she was a perfect candidate for the Dawn trial. Patients were chosen to be eligible for this study if they had some special brain imaging, either a CAT scan with a perfusion study or an MRI scan with a diffusion study that demonstrated really what was going on with the brain tissue. As part of the Dawn study, Bessie was randomized into the treatment group, a device kind of like a tiny Chinese finger puzzle was inserted up into her brain where it grabbed the clot and pulled it out. She went from not being able to speak or use her right side to virtually back to normal the next day. It's amazing. Um, the doctors at university said she could be a poster child for the Dawn study. And right away, Bessie was determined to go back to life as she knew it. They wanted me to go to a nursing home. I said, no, I'm not going to no nursing home. Results like Bessie's are the reason the trial was stopped. Dr. Kathy Sela says the initial plan was to have 500 patients participate, but after just 200, the results showed such a dramatic benefit to the treatment, it would have been unethical not to offer it to the control group. People for whom this treatment is the right thing to do, it is literally a miracle. I, I got through it now, I want to put it in back of me and get started on something else. I don't want to sit and worry about this whole thing. The risk for stroke doubles with each decade after the age of 55, but one third of stroke victims are young people. Some of the risk factors include high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, cigarette smoking, unhealthy eating, and not getting enough exercise. The most common warning signs are weakness or numbness on one side of the body, slurred speech or difficulty speaking, or a sudden severe headache. In the studio, Karina Paisa, News 5.